hi so this is Joel Kumar Sen now only few days to go for gate examination I don't know when you are watching this video but yes this is a very crucial video so watch this video till the end this is must you must watch this video till the end that's why what I wanted to share with you you can come to know this is really crucial important video right so I'm going to share with you how you can solve mcq question those asking gate even esc even ssc j even other examination any other examination where they ask mcq and matching type question they are asking right so basically with an example i would like to share with you that trick because i wanted to share with you an example right so let's move on the question you are seeing right now this question already asked in esc previous year right now what this question is saying this is a question of match list i mean matching question right now this is the question and uh, these this is the list one and this is the list two they have given four options usually they have given four options together like a b c d together you will find out here and here right not in this side because of your understanding i have done this now whenever you are getting this type of question don't read this question right i mean first of all write down the four alphabets a b c d because there are four alphabets already we have given now you will come to know read this question what they are asking because this is all also important to know the statement right usually they will uh, tell you that just match the list and uh, choose which one is the correct answer usually say this but yes i would recommend you read the statement if you are going to appear in esc and gate like examination because these are really competitive so maybe they have written something else in the statement so you must read a statement right now here is the trick what i have done a b c d don't look at options first first try to find out with which option or which matching list you are most familiar so among all these let's say i am familiar with this constant volume gas and for constant volume gas pressure would be the matching one so d4 so what i will do i will write a b c d first then i will just put this four under d as we have given in the option right so now now find out uh let's say uh not d1 basically so get option is one now okay now let's say what actually uh what we have to do after doing this we need to see all the three of the four options a b and c and d so you can see these two options are not matching with our answer and i'm very much confident about this one what i'm telling right now i'm telling about you right so now what you have to do you have to see both the options three three so you don't need to see three right i mean don't need to see or don't need to match with option a now we we'll, uh, need to see b and c right b and c just don't uh, just neglect this one in this in this way what will happen you can save some time you can save some time right got it now let's come here b and c so now you have to see b and c and you need to find out answer so what is happening why i am sharing with you this trick by using this trick you can eliminate or you can save time i mean uh, if you are going to match four option for all four then maybe it will take 60 seconds by doing this you are going to save around 15 seconds 15 seconds and it will also maintain accuracy right accuracy would be also there got it now most important suppose that there are five questions so you are going to save around 75 seconds are you getting my point so this this is this is what i was talking about you can save your time you can maintain accuracy and of course what you wanted to get from this examination just like gate esc ssc j and other complete examination you can get i hope you understand the trick right so implement this trick while solving problem that's why you can get i mean you can implement the same trick in the examination hall because knowing trick and implementing the trick both are different thing i hope you are getting me right 
so try to implement these tricks in the examination i mean before uh, implementing in the examination hall try to practice if you are writing test series you can practice there if you are practicing practicing any offline test series you can do that if you are practicing at home you can even do that right so guys thanks for watching thank you very much and see you soon in my next tutorial if you're facing any problem regarding gate esc examination let me know i will try to help you well and uh, thanks for watching bye